bomb dia todos. Today is Monday. It's a grey and cloudy day today. Okay. See behind me, we've got some blue sky. Temperature's dropped quite a bit, which is lovely. So today we are going to go hard on the kitchen. We're going to try and get all three layers of paint done in one day. Currently in the cleaning process now. You might be able to hear Grissa doing the washing up. See, so yeah, I think this is probably like the fifth time this month that we've completely emptied the kitchen, which is always fun. So we got far too overexcited then and started cleaning the kitchen before making coffee. We need coffee before we get into painting. <laughs> Another exciting thing to show you. My mimosa pudica plants are growing. In case any of you have not seen these before, these are the sensitive plant. I probably shouldn't do it. I'll do it to a big one because they're healthier. Mm. I don't want to take too much of the cement off. Yeah. Right then, all ready to go. Paint all ready and mixed with some water. A few people asked in the last one why you put water in and it's called a mist coat and it's basically because if you render there's still a good chance of it, it still will absorb water. So as you can see it's already started absorbing this. So if you put normal paint on it, it won't suck it in to the render as well as if you put this coat on first because what it does is it sucks the moisture into the wall and leaves the paint on the outside. So then you put two other layers of full strength paint on top and you get a much better covering. So there you go. One is done. <sighs> These shelves, why have I done this? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Half joking. I'm happy with them. The painting is almost as hard as the rendering, but I think by the time we get the proper coats of paint on, it's gonna look totally different. But it's definitely lunchtime. Thank you. 
It is very bright in here. I mean, it doesn't look it right now because <laughs> it's just clouded over. But compared to how it was before, it's amazing. So we're just waiting for this to dry and then we'll put another coat on just to make sure it's very smooth. Um, I think that one might need another one just because there's so many gaps to fill. But I think once this is filled with lots of cute little things, it's going to look lovely. Books along the top. And actually, I'll show you. This here is a billy button flower. <laughs> and it's taken me, I think, about nine months to grow this one single one. But you see them quite a lot dried. Um, hi, Al. So my plan is to dry this one and have it singularly in a vase on on my shelf. What do you think? Do you think you should be on the shelf? The blossoms of the olive trees are starting to come out and the tree actually loses a lot of them. I think it only keeps about 2% to turn into olives so you get these flowers everywhere and my favourite thing is when the ants start collecting them and you just see a trail of these flowers going along in an ant line but I don't think you can do anything with them I don't think they're edible or anything if anyone knows let me and Albie know are you ready for the next coat Frankie don't think you want to be sitting there you don't care just eat. Come on. Come on. Come on, little bees. <laughs> She's just gone and sat on this side. But this wall is already done. And it's already dirty, so... How long this white wall will last is uh, anyone's guess. But I reckon a week. Good morning guys. Look how bright this room is. I moved a few bits back in last night because we needed to do dinner. So I'm going to have a quick tidy up now and then I want to get the shelf up along here and then the fun part of sort of styling the shelves a bit next. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give the shelf a varnish, but not in my new Frankie t shirt, which you can get below, by the way, in our YouTube store. But yeah, I'm going to go change out a bit, though it is already dirty, I can't be trusted in white. 
So I'm just looking at the shelving brackets and realised that I haven't counted for this gap that will be against the wall on the shelf and I've cut in the curve. So I'm going to put the brackets up first and put the shelf on it in case it needs recutting. <laughs> but I'm glad I noticed before I varnished. Not varnished, I'm giving it oil, not varnish. I might add varnish too, but yeah. I'm glad I noticed before I oiled. So the drill is struggling <laughs> to make the first hole. Oh, it's so frustrating sometimes and you just want to get something done and it takes so much longer than you had planned but it's all good. Yeah, we're just charging up the drill battery now on the solar battery. Um, normally it takes about 15 minutes to get full and hopefully a freshly charged battery will give it some extra power. But yeah, it's looking like I definitely need to recut the shelf and oil it, so I might give that a go now. Scrum, my bag. Ready? Go. bad spot um, but I went with a smaller drill bit and smaller plugs and I think it's still solid enough seems good so next time plan on this taking so long and so much sweat. There we go. So I have been pottering. This is what it is looking like in here so far. How beautiful. <laughs> um, these holes are mostly not very useful. I think as well since I've rendered, don't look too closely at my rendering, things are even tighter. So one idea I have had was to get either something like this, like a piece of wood that could go here on a hinge and then we can use them for things that aren't very pretty. <laughs> you know just like food storage bags things like that that you wouldn't really want to see but that could be made make these holes useful there are still you can still see a few of the places i've not been able to paint oh, i've already smudged a bit there or like chipped off the paint there i'm gonna get some spray paint i think just to try and get those last bits that i couldn't get into but yeah i'm so happy with how it's all coming together i think we're going to bring in a cabinet that we've got for storage in here eventually we will make the kitchen unit but not i don't think before the summer i might try and tile the floor before the summer but we're definitely getting to the hotter hotter time of the year where you don't want to be doing too much there is 
Two more things I would like to do today. I do have to go and do some work. Unfortunately, I would love to potter here all day. But first things first, we need to go and get... I'll try not to trip over everything. The belly button. Standing tall is ready to come into my kitchen. Only took me nine months. But I think now that this food, this is one as well that's not growing too well, but I think now it's here it should grow some more flowers. But I have the vase I'm planning it for, so... Oof. Let's go. Oh, there's a little bug on it. It's gonna go in there. I don't need to put you down. upside down, I'm not sure, but <laughs> hopefully he survives. Just another thing to note, we, we are planning to put a wooden ceiling in here with extra insulation. That's why we haven't been too careful with the roof. The roof looks really dirty now, even more so with these white walls. Um, and then all the wiring would be hidden in there with the lights. These are really good. I think these are in our Amazon list. They're remote control operated, which is good, but I'm also scared we're gonna lose the remote. <laughs> but they're really bright in the evening and they just run off a, a little solar battery outside. The only thing I find with solar lights is that they don't come on until it's dark enough. And there's like this time at dusk where it's quite dark in here. So we do also have this light, which is great. It's a USB charged one. We just got this from uh, Decathlon, which is the sports shop. So lots of different lights. <laughs> so the other thing I would like to do is our friends Carla and Sergio gave us this, which is an old title. And Sergio painted it for us. Isn't that just gorgeous? A little teapot for us tea lovers. So there's these two little holes here, so I think I need to put some wire on. And then I think uh, I'll put it here, next to my garlic that the chickens pulled up too early. And there's a tiny little, well, we've had a few little bulbs. Um, they're pretty tasty, but very small. <laughs> I should probably dig some up soon, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and <laughs> put a screw in here after my screw nightmare over here so I've just realized one of the problems we had with putting this up is that it's much harder on the join of a breeze block and I can't see it now it's rendered but I can see from this side where the breeze blocks are so I'm going to try and measure it to make sure that I'm not on one of the joints Haha, uh -huh. I will defeat you, breeze blocks. How cute! Um, my camera is done with filming, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna quickly sign off here and hope it doesn't cut me off um, beforehand. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we've got lots more to do with the kitchen, so that'll be happening over the next videos. We've got lots to do on the land, lots of things to share. Anyway, I hope you're having a lovely week. What day is this coming out? Week or weekend? Um, 